Hey guys, welcome back to the card review. So, yeah, I know. Another Madoche card. Like, woo! New support for Madoche. Like, where did that come from? You know, I thought it was like, Angeli was it. You know, you, 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 can you get better than Angeli? Hello? You know, we've always been talking about Madoches. When we talk about it, we're like, they need more XC monsters, you know? And the Tiramisu is nice and all, but it's just Tiramisu. It's like Tiramisu and that's it. So, you know, it's nice that they get another XC monster. So here you go. Here's another XC monster. So this is Madoche Pudding Says Choco a la Mode. So it, it, it's like Choco a la Mode because like the dessert, but then it's like Mode is in a new form of her. Like, ah, I see what you did. That's cute, Kanari. That's cute. So this is a Earth Fairy XC effect monster that is rank five. Ooh, okay. All right. 2,500 attack, 2,200 defense. So, she's at the attack bear. She's made with two level 5 earth monsters. Alright, so the only level 5 monster that I know that Madoche's played is Madoche Pudding Cess. So, hopefully, you know, does she have anything to do with Pudding Cess? Because she knows she's Pudding Cess. But, you know, let's go ahead and read it. You can also XC summon this card by using a rank 4 or lower Madoche XC monster you control as an XC material. So you put her on Tiramisu, and of course the materials attached to that monster also becoming. So you put her on Tiramisu. I like how you say rank four or lower Madoche XC monster, but there is no rank four or lower Madoche XC monster. I, I like that. I like that. You know, like why? You know why? <laughs> so pretty much put her on Tiramisu. Okay. So I guess when you add in Tiramisu attachments, you put this on top, and it does something. So let's continue reading. Once per turn, you could target question mark legend monsters. So I guess they haven't translated it, but you know, probably, probably, maybe all of them. You know, it really doesn't matter. In your graveyard and shuffle them back into the deck. So you're kind of like Chateau, I guess. So if you have Chateau and you summon this, then you can take your Madoche monsters in your graveyard and then put them back into your hand. That's cute. All right, next to that, when a Madoche card cards. Shouldn't it be a win Madoche card cards? You didn't need that A because then the S makes it sound weird. Win a Madoche cards? Sound, the grammar sounds weird. Anyway, it's shuffled from your graveyard into your deck. So it has to be into your deck. So you can't return it back to your hand. While this card has Madoche Pudding Cest as a C material. All right, there's Pudding Cest. You can test the C material from this card. So just summon one Madoche monster from your deck in attack position or face down defense position. That's it. No. No. This card's bad. That's not what Madoches need at all. No. Not only do you have to play Pudding Sass, which you shouldn't want to play anyway, but I'm confused. All right, I'm confused. You can put her, you can put this card on a rank four or lower Madoche XC, but you don't get that effect to summon from the deck unless you have Pudding Sass, in which case, if you XC on top of, you wouldn't have Pudding Sass XC material. So what's the point? Are you literally just supposed to go, all right, you know what? Uh, well, I'm all out of detach uh, attachments on my tiramisu, so let me just go ahead and put this bitch on, and she can go ahead and return my Madoches back to my deck. Yay! Oh, wait. Now when I summon my tiramisu, I don't have any Madoche cards in my graveyard. Like, you want Madoche cards in your graveyard for tiramisu later. Like, no, don't return. You know, and, and even if you did return, you would only get the effect of this card with with pudding set by returning to the deck. So even if you had Chateau and you returned to the hand, you wouldn't get this card's effect. This card's bad. This card is not what they needed. Nor is it worth the effort. It is not worth the effort to go and jelly summon pudding set, insta fusion to summon a level five earth fusion X into it. It's not fucking worth it. This card is no. That's not what they needed. No. No. No, 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 no. If you wanted to give Madoche something, shit, you should have, if you want to give Madoche something, you should have given him a rank 3. A rank 3 would have been much better. And you know what the rank 3's ability should have been? That you can XC a rank 4 Madoche monster from your extra deck and put it on top, on top of this card. That would have been awesome. You know, just to be able to go, alright, well, I'm going to go and summon the Kitty Cat and summon the Owl, XC into my rank 3 Madoche monster, detach to do whatever its effect would be. You know, they could have broke the shit. They could have gave it, they could have made the monster that, uh, you know, it's two level 3 Madoche monsters. You know, they could have said that. You can detach XC material to search for a Madoche monster or card. You could have made this, look, look, Konami, if you want to make Madoche good, this isn't the way you do it. Search for Madoche card, and then its other ability is like during main phase two, you can uh, 
oh, you can XC a rank four Madoche XC monster on top of this card. That would have been awesome. You would have been Hoot Cat, you, Kitty Cat, Hoot Cat, XC into that one, Detach, Sort, do whatever, Main Phase 2, put a Tiramisu, you got the Madoche card already in Graveyard, right? Spin Bang. You could have made a great ass Madoche monster. Instead, you make this. Like, really? This isn't what they need. This is bad. Like, if any Madoche player wants to run this card, don't. Because this card's not good. You know, I, I, I've been a pretty decent fan of Madoches. Madoches have been on um, on Daily Duels twice. Been on, then it got taken off, and it got put back on, and it got taken off. But Madoches have been on Daily Duel. And not ever once I've, I've ever thought about playing Pudding Cess or using anything along this card like this. So definitely no. <sighs> so tell me what you guys think about this card in the comment section below. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Card Review. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys on Thursday with another card to look at. Alright guys, thanks for watching.